Alright, so we're checking out the only game where Stickman Flesh is the best harvestable item in farming. It's Stickman Annihilation 4. More mulching stick brains, damn it. Stickman Annihilation 4 is one of those games that lets you pulverize limitless amounts of stickmen, but I have not pulverized them in every way possible. In the last episode, I got many of these things done but there are still many left to go. Like the fact that this guy is hanging upside down in a convertible and this says top secret and I still don't have the mulcher. And as such, I must go to Florida and destroy the lives of stick men with flaming tires and overpriced Bud Light. I need this vehicle or my life will not be complete. Honestly, I need all of these vehicles. I can't actually figure out why this vehicle is three times as much as this vehicle, but honestly, like the stick man version of Mad Max is like, do it. Man, I'm like the stick man Uber over here. I'm carrying five passengers at once. Once. Don't you hate it when people come through your windshield and try and hit the brake? It's not so much backseat drivers as it is like front windshield drivers. I think that's the first time I ever stabbed a stick man with another stick man's spine. All right, stick people, good news. I've almost sacrificed enough of your lives in skateboards to feed the blood gods so I can buy the harvester. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, de-husk some stick men and then we'll open up some more boards. I can imagine reading the manual for this thing and having it be like, make sure it's used in the appropriate way. Okay, <laughs> appropriateness, go. <laughs> Nothing like getting your ass paddled by a harvester blade. It doesn't just cut sticks in half, it obliterates them. Holy shit, it's fast too. I have learned something very interesting about this machine. Those big front tires act like a juicer. Do you wanna see this machine poop out a stick man? Ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> the harvester is like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> hey, where's your head at? That's inappropriate. I'm pretty sure I just shot a stick man out of the stratosphere. I think the, the worst part of this is every single person that dies gets a face full of this dude's crotch. Look at it every time. I'm pretty sure his groin ripped that dude's head off. I feel like this is a crime and the crime has nothing to do with death. It's time to open up a new area. Picnic? What does it mean? I don't know. Probably means we're going to be serving vegan stick flesh. This doesn't really look like a great picnic place, but that is a stick figure hanging from the ceiling. Oh my God. It's like, I wonder where my uncle went. Oh, I found a piece of him. <laughs> There's a big ass drop. Oh, full 360 with the harvester. Little boost for us. Not that we needed it. Random flame. Kick a field goal with a stick figure body. Sometimes I look at these different levels and I don't know what the hell anyone was thinking when they named them. This is not a catacomb. This is a stick figure with a goddamn bomb on his head. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I heard that there was some fresh crops that needed reaping. Oh, now there's gonna be saw blades involved. That's nice. Oh my God, <laughs> what is this level? It's amazing. I think I may have, oh, um. I penetrated the board so hard that my vehicle is stuck. There we go, I just needed a human being in order to get free. The fact that there's so many boosts like this makes me very, very happy. I'm here to tell you, you can get a lot of points on this board. A lot of it is just from killing stick figures more-er. You see this? That's more-er death. I just broke 235,000 bones in one go. I also severed 144 body parts. How many stars are you guys giving on my Uber rating? All these sticks are like, Arr. I find it very interesting that bicyclists are worth so many points compared to a normal. Oh, shit. I didn't know there was a bottom part to this. It's better to go down here. I just did a super empirical test on whether or not I could destroy more stick lives with a police car or with this harvester, this harvester is the clear way to go. Can you get your femur off of my harvester, please? That goes somewhere on the list of things I never thought I would say. I have to mention something real quick. You know a game is hardcore when one of the scenes basically looks like it's just gravity that's causing someone to vomit blood. Someone asked the stick figure, they were like, what is the gravity of your home planet? And the stick figure's like, a lot. This is a monster truck. It makes stick figures say, we're about to get monster f All right, let's roll. It is slightly concerning driving this because I feel like I'm going to scalp myself on the ceiling. It sits so high. So I found a very interesting way to make a lot of points in this vehicle. You get the stick figure stuck between the two tires and it just shreds them. 78,000 points, 87,000 points. It's kind of cool. It's like my own little stick figure meat grinder. 
I'm not gonna lie, part of me wants to go for at least one million bones broken in just this phase. Well, I just found an amazing way to make points. Ready for this? 212. Spawn the stick figure right under the rear tire. 250! 279! 307! And that's a million points this face. Now I'm happy. 829,000 bones broken. Now, now that I have the official ability to buy any stage I want, I gotta save top secret for last, but we know how to make infinite amounts of points now. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is just faster. Not really sure what to expect here besides a shit ton of speed and a lot of decapitations. Oh, more boosting because we didn't have enough speed to be- Oh my God, holy shit. What did I get caught on? It's probably a human being skull. I'm just throwing body parts everywhere. This is amazing. <laughs> um, I think I may have fallen into a place I wasn't supposed to go to. I'm really not sure. When you see a harvester doing barrel rolls through the sky, that's when you know. Oh, wow. Someone, someone had all these stick figures just prepared for us. I'm just using the monster truck because I kind of wanted to know what would happen with the hanging sticks. Well, apparently one of them's gonna get ping-ponged between the tires, I think that's my body. Well, it's embarrassing, I'm caught inside of my own wheel well. There's something about taking hanging sticks down with this harvester that is very, very refreshing, and that is clearly the most amount of air we have ever gotten. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh. And the full 360 RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> Gotta pick my uh, daughter up from cheerleading practice over here. <laughs> war, you say? Yes, please. Who would bring a harvester to war? Us. To be fair, though, there is a lot of stick figures just riding their bike during wartime. So, uh, see, what's happening here isn't truly my fault. I'm doing my best rendition of, like, a porpoise. This harvester keeps breaching the water you can see here. Look at how majestic it is as it severs body parts. That is the patented harvester triple flip. Just need to get this thing upside down real quick so I can generate infinite points again. We've got things to unlock. Let me ask you something. Do you like hamburger? The fact that I can click a button and instantaneously generate 25,000 points is amazing. I'm gonna tell you something. Over in this war, they may be using like mortars and stuff like that, but when your opponent starts raining down body parts upon you, I feel like like that has a more impactful effect. They'd be like, what the hell was that? I think it was someone's humorous. I was asked to use my pointless talent in finding odd ways to generate infinite points by ending world hunger. Here you go. Don't ask where the meat comes from. So what other way do you use this thing? Oh, it's not just a matter of sitting in a different place. You're literally spawning the friend that you hate to hang off the back. Who is this stick figure? The stick figure that drew the short straw. The only thing he does is get a front row seat to all of the skulls that get, oh, all right. Well, I guess he can also soccer kick the leftover body parts. What happens if I spawn a stick on him? <laughs> stick 69. <laughs> there is like weird Karma Sutra positions happening over here. See that right there? That was the Kentucky water polo. Hey, what's today's forecast? Yeah, it's gonna be partly cloudy with a chance of body parts. I'm pretty sure this is the highest a harvester has ever flown in the history of the world. And he sticks to landing. I can finally afford it. Whatever the hell this is. Whatever it is, it has this. Oh, it's a goddamn rocket booster. You really need to ask yourself how fast you wanna go in this thing because the answer is yes. Stick men don't just die when they get hit by this thing. They get turned into a fine stick paste. This is the type of vehicle when you go to the detailer and he finds like finger bones stuck inside of your air conditioning vents. There's an interesting vibrating femur just hitting me in the back of the head inside of the cab. I think I'm gonna buy this just to have it. It's a fire truck. I have to know if it's any good or not. Interestingly enough, it's not painted red. It's red because of all the blood. I do appreciate that the fire ladder goes up. Should be able to get all the stick figures hanging with this thing. <laughs> Hell yes. Oh, I'm caught on a body part. I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like the fire truck, but now that I know that you can actually spawn two additional stick figures and ruin three people's mental states all at once, it's my new favorite. I think the best part here is like everyone that hits this vomits blood all over this guy. See, what, see right there, what you don't know is the shirt he was wearing used to be white. 
I hadn't really thought about what would happen if I spawned a stick figure inside of another stick figure. Only good things happen. Only good things. All right, I'm now gonna go ahead and perform the downward dog position. People are probably like, what are you doing? And he's like, planking. Okay, that is not planking. Never mind. Ah, see if I spawn people on the back over here, it picks up the gigantic ladder portion. I don't think that the ambulance is particularly good. I just think it's very ironic when you're getting hosed by an ambulance. The ambulance guys get a lot of <laughs> a lot of experience. Oh, there's actually a person that's inside the ambulance. I didn't know that there's a guy a gurney that comes rolling out. I'm hitting stick figures so fast now. I'm getting like 50,000 points per hit. Come on, we can reach new heights. Keep going, damn it. Kaboom! Bang! 175 to 240. It's not about how hard you hit. It's about how far the stick figures fly when you land on them. All right, can finally afford the last phase. Top secret. I don't really see any reason to go through this in any other way than with the turbo on the entire time. Was that a man falling from the sky, but I was too fast to actually hit him? I don't know what's so secret about this. I'm gonna roll through this kind of slower to find out exactly. Yep, that was a guy. Oh, they all fall from the sky. Dealing with this is kind of like uh, the mama bear and the papa bear and all that. You gotta find out the vehicle that's just right to deal with the fact that it's raining, man. So since the top secret board sucked, I decided to take the Mad Max mobile into another board I hadn't opened up yet. And oh my God, I'm glad I did it. You get to smash people through rock walls and it is horrifying. How many bones are there in the stick figure body? The answer is zero. You know how some people have like the little trees hanging from their rear view mirror. I've got like a wreath of skulls. Something I haven't done yet was find out how stupid my stick figure can be by seeing in what other way you can possibly pilot this thing. Oh, the obvious way, by hanging off of the back roll cage. Is that the only two ways? Yes. I wanted to see if there was anything extra over here. The only thing I did was make him vomit out one of his organs. The worst part is, is that simply hanging back there is such a bad idea because you get immediately blasted by the gigantic rocket. <laughs> oh my God. We're going for new records all the time. On the plus side, this is the first stick figure to complete like a quintuple axle. It says 140,000 bones broken. My question is how many of those bones were mine? I had to open up the very last item in the vehicle area and it's like a tow truck. And I wondered if you could hook the stick figures on the back of the tow truck. You absolutely can. See, it's kind of like a pinata, but made out of people. Well, we opened up every board. We found a way to make infinite points very, very quickly. I would say that's a win. Top secret suck, but you can't have everything. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Stickman Annihilation 4. Till next time, <laughs> stay foxy and much love.